Sheets hasn't always made it easy to find some of the page settings that are easier to change if you're using an Excel spreadsheet. But once you know how to find them and get used to the unique way that Sheets has you interact with those settings, it's not that big a deal. If you go to the print icon, this is where you'll find a number of the settings that you would usually find in page setup or someplace like that. You can change the paper size in this area. You can decide which sheets you're going to print. You can change the page orientation. You can do scaling. Here's where you can change your margins. And any changes that you make in this area, if you share this document with someone else, will be reflected there as well. You can choose some pre-formatted options. You can go with narrow or wide to give yourself more room, or you can do custom numbers. You can just type in the margin that you want and you can make all of them different, all of them the same. It's up to you. So we've changed the margins. Then as far as the formatting goes, if you don't want grid lines to show, you would click that here or showing notes. Also, you can change the page order of your workbook. You can change the alignment of your sheet. And then you can add headers and footers. If I click on page numbers, you can see that a page number shows up here. The workbook title will show up in this area. And then the sheet name shows up right here. You can include the current date in this corner, the current time, also next to the date. They also give you this option to edit custom fields. And that gives you six distinct text boxes that you can add text into. If you had previously put in a date, you can change what that date looks like. You can change the time format. You can change what's written here. You can put in custom text wherever you would like, and then confirm that and you can see it showed up in this area. If you disengage the workbook title, you disengage any of the three text boxes at the top. And if you disengage current date, you disengage the three boxes at the bottom. Also, if you had frozen rows in your sheet, you can choose to repeat the frozen rows at the top of each printed sheet so that somebody doesn't have to flip back on their piece of paper to see what does this column stand for. Hopefully this helps you figure out how you can use the formatting options better in Google Sheets.